Sandeep, Rudraksh, uh, Priyansh. Hi. Uh, Priyansh, thank you very much for joining me. Oh, yeah. And uh, I want to start with you, Randeep. I remember joining Imtiaz and yourself and the cast of Highway Up in Kashmir and telling you that, you know, you're probably one of the finest actors of our generation and why you haven't done anything on the international firmament since Monsoon Wedding. And I remember you telling me, saying, man, I haven't even made a showreel for myself. So did you finally get down <laughs> to making that showreel or is this that showreel? <laughs> uh, well, I, I, when I came to uh, Bombay 20 years ago, um, I, I grew up watching English movies. I grew up watching these big films and I always wanted to be a part of them. And because we were only, I was in a hostel and I, we were only shown uh, Hindi movie only once a year uh, before the summer holidays. So, uh, you know, whenever you was to watch it on VC VCR, we used to fast forward the songs and stuff. So I always wanted to be in these kind of movies. And I thought I'll come to Bombay, make that show real. That's why I was attracted to uh, Ram Gopal Verma and all these kind of filmmakers where I started my career with. And then uh, after uh, almost forgetting about it, uh, I get a call uh, in Aram Nagar uh, to go to Aram Nagar in this little little house and on a on a phone camera to audition uh, for probably one of the biggest filmmakers uh, in the world, and I got the part. So it has. Uh, I mean, it's like the Alchemist. You know, you you go all around, but you find finally that you know the treasure is in your backyard, which is Andheri. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rudraj, uh, you right now are the envy of the whole nation in terms of the amount of time that you got to spend with Chris Hemsworth. I remember going to Sydney during a press junket for Thor and I didn't know how to break the ice with Chris so I just started talking about cricket and he told me that he was a fast bowler in his backyard back in the day. Um, all, you know, you played football with Chris, you have hung with him. Yeah. That first moment, uh, what did you do to break the ice? Like I used cricket, what did you do? to break the ice. What was that first um, thing? Yeah, yeah. So, um, when I got to know that I'd be working with Chris Hemsworth, I first cannot forget that moment. And the first time, I, I was actually in my uh, tent where the monitor was situated. I was doing my makeup check. And there's a there was like a cutout and I saw from that Chris Hemsworth was walking into the set. I was like, mommy, he's here. What are you doing? I went up to him and I was like, I said, so at uh, that time, Infinity War had been released. I've been doing Infinity War. I went up to him and I said that iconic line from uh, in, um, Infinity War, which was bring me Thanos. And he, he said that line again and he gave me a big hug and he said, nice one, Rudy. I needed that. Yeah. So that's the meaning, the first time meaning I had. Yeah, it was Smart. Uh, Priyanshu, the bong, the Bangla that's spoken in Bangladesh is radically different from the Bangla that's spoken in West Bengal. Uh, did you have to go into those nitty gritties or did you just keep it like a generic accent? Because I, I find that you've got a lot of Bangla dialogues. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm speaking throughout. I was told that I'm doing an English film, then I was told, no, you're doing a Bangladeshi character. In uh, was the mafia of Dhaka, and I said, "So I have no English lines." I said, "No." So I was like, "Okay," because and whether it was a Bangladeshi, Bangla, or uh, Bengali, it would have been difficult for me because I don't speak either of them. I only speak in English and Hindi. I had to prep a lot. I had to do a two-three months training. So they got me. No, we actually went close to doing the Bangladeshi Bangla. It's called Bangal, I think. Uh, even my co-actors, the guys who are playing my gang members. They are Bengali actors, you know, but they also took time to get hold of that one. Uh, we had a tutor, a filmmaker from Bangladesh, Rafael, who was training us throughout two, three months prior to the shoot. And then on set also, he was there. So after the cut, I think the first time, whenever a cut would happen, I would look it straight first to Rafael and then to Sam, thinking whether my lines was okay and looking at Sam whether my performance would see me there. You know? And Sam was very, very sweet. He would make me comfortable and say, Take your time, just do go here, take your time, be comfortable while you're performing. And that gave me a lot of confidence as we kind of prep, we went into it, and that is what these guys do. Make you so comfortable that you give your best. Yeah. Randeep, your, your affinity for horses is very well known. In fact, you walk into the Royal Western India Turf Club here in, uh, in Mahalakshmi, and everybody just talks yeah. about Randeep Huda. And I go through uh, the press copy of Extraction, and I'm like, Man, that's his biggest strength, you know, he's a Vursavar. And why haven't they got him to do action on, on horses? But then I realized that in an urban milieu, it's a little difficult for you to, unless you're playing mounted police, 
to do something with horses, but <laughs> you seem to have had some. <laughs> you seem to have had some fun on horses. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but you seem to have had some some fun on horses with well, Sam uh, uh, just uh, off the yeah. off the set. Yeah. Yeah, I. Uh, it was after Diwali, uh, and I before the uh, on Diwali day. Uh, I had asked Sam if you'd like to go riding because I have a friend there called Jay Patel who who has friends who own horses and we can ride in the riverbed of Sar Sabarmati River which dries up at that time of the year. So it was really uh, something. So I asked him and he said, yeah, we'll go and uh, we'll go in the morning. I said, okay, 4.35, we have to go. And then uh, it was Diwali, so me and uh, Rudy's dad and a couple of other people, we were uh, visiting Scotland for a while and slept late and still we had to go and, uh, you know, <laughs> we had to go and uh, uh, ride in the morning. And uh, we went out on the riverbed and all that. And I had uh, one of the, you know, embarrassing, funny moments, you know, I was telling Sam about this medal, that medal, and we go up on the little hill to, you know, look around the place, we come down. So I just got down for something I don't exactly remember. And then I had to get back on up. So I, I was like, you know, because that saddle was such that you can't step into it, it'll just roll over. So I tried to jump on like these, uh, like Sam was doing, and I fell face forward on the other side. Uh, too much laughter and embarrassment and then my bridal of my horse came out another time and I was thinking you know I hope uh, this doesn't happen to Sam or I don't get injured or there goes go my chances of becoming an action hero and uh, you know end up in comedy <laughs> but but it, it was it was good fun Sam has got a background of uh, growing up around horses uh, in the countryside and uh, that's where we also share a very uh, we share a common a uh, writer that we both like, Louis L'Amour and his westerns that we used to read. And that's where he started choreographing his initial fights by the description given in the book, which was really vivid and nice because Louis L'Amour was also a prize fighter. So yeah. we talked about all those things and from there about the, the, the character and where it, it will go. There's a lot of western... Uh, genre movie influence about the largeness and the tilt up towards these characters uh, and of course it's a very gritty gritty film so sam and me got along in that way a lot uh, it's a really nice guy i don't think this movie would have turned out to be uh, what it is if sam did not have that action background and they he was the director and there was his team daniel stevens his best friend Thayer harris who were uh, coordinating all the action and he was on the camera strapped to cars falling off buildings and whatnot you know and going take after take after take and it would have taken longer if even if it, this was possible, but that really add, adds the edge to the film and knowing that yeah. the, that the, when we started shooting the drama parts, the talky parts, which were not action and Sam would be somewhere else and not on the camera, it was like a bit discerning for in the beginning and then, yeah, but it was good, man. Super. Uh, Rudraksh, you actually met Joe much earlier because he was here for uh, Avengers Endgame. I remember at that time, yeah. the film was called something else. Uh, and your yeah. interactions with Joe, I mean, this is part of the Russo brothers, man. The man, uh, the yeah. people behind uh, the Avengers series and now Joe's written uh, uh, Extraction. So your interactions with Joe, now that uh, Randeep has talked about Sam. Um, so when I got, uh, we finished the shooting of Extraction last year, uh, around February. And then I got to know the end games are releasing and Joe Russo is coming to Mumbai for the end games promotion. So I was very excited. I said, Mommy, uh, should I go meet him? I, mommy was like, yeah, sure. So I approached him and then he emailed me back. Like, yeah, we would love to meet you. Let's meet in Taj Lansom where his promotions were going to happen. So I went there and I met him. I was super, super, super excited because I was very nervous to meet him also because I went there. We had a lot of fun. We had lunch together, then we had dinner. Um, we discussed a lot about our films and he said, you have done a very good work in the film. I'm appreciating. I mean, you're going to get recognition overall um, the world. And um, I will surely cast you for another film also. And when I heard that, I, I mean, my heart skipped a beat at that time. Um, I don't know what was happening with me. So, yeah, that was a good interaction with Joe Russo, sir. So Priyanshu, uh, were you one of those lucky men who got to spend and uh, spend some time with Miss Farahani? 
the beauty that she is and you know such an exception ah. <laughs> yeah. all, all I don't separate. think so you... <laughs> <laughs> so tell all you know tell I, all. The whole I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what really funny thing happened was uh, when we were shooting in Ahmedabad when we had just started shooting and uh, you know the tests was going on makeup test look test and all that and I was just flying every day from Mumbai to Ahmedabad I remember speaking with some some of the ADs and we were just chatting over the script. I said, I have no scene with Chris. I'm the antagonist here. Do I have any scene with Tyler? That's his name in the film. They said, No, you don't. Yeah, you just you know you're just being powerful guy on the other side. But then I saw there's a scene later in the film in the end and it said uh, with Nick and Nick comes and meets uh, Amir Asif. I'm like, who's Nick? I did not know that Gorshif is there in the film by that time. I had just gone there for my trial and they said, Oh, no, Gorshif is playing explain Nick. I said, oh, I got a scene with uh, Golshit. Oh, then I'm fine. I, I think then I'm okay. Maybe then that makes it up for me because <laughs> I'm not doing a lot of acting. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it up for uh, you know you don't have any scene with Chris. You're not even doing anything with him in any scene. Uh, but there was a scene with Golshit. We chatted for really long uh, on the set that one day when we shot. And uh, in fact, I was talking to her, her about that film she's done with Irfan Khan, Song of the Scorpions, um, and she speaks in Hindi in that film. Um, which is an alien language for her. I'm speaking Bangla, which is again for me. So we were just chatting about everything. And she loves Indian cinema, apparently. And she's done some, uh, she loves Irfan yeah. Khan, she was telling me. And she's a, a very sweet, one wonderful actor as well. So yeah, my interaction with Gaurav was one of the things which I can cherish. Uh, Joe Russo, I remember just saying hi to him while I was walking to the set in uh, Thailand. As I said, I, I used to be tense every day on set because I have to speak in these lines, right? In Bangla, I don't know, I can't improvise, it's not English Hindi. And the three men just walk past me, they just shake my hand and I'm like, hi, 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 good luck, good luck, and thank you, thank you so much, sir. And I just walked to my set and somebody then told me that was Joe Russo. I said, oh, sh damn it, that was, was that Joe Russo? I just said hi to, and we cannot have any interaction, but come on, let's just start shooting. But yeah, these are the kind of, even with Chris, I think I had a very funny, First time meeting because we met at the hair van inside the hair van when I was getting my hair uh, extensions done and he's just somewhere to get his beard trimmed and I saw him in the mirror and I'm like oh hi hi and he's like hello and uh, I said I'm Amir Asif actually I think he 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 got confused first looking at me oh this is the guy who's playing Amir Asif but then we started chatting he played some music on his uh, on Bluetooth speakers I was singing and I'm like oh nice we spoke about India but really ground really grounded guy. I mean, Sometimes you don't get cast up because of the way they behave with you, you know, in the first go. And you don't have to do much, you just have to talk to them. Yeah, it's very easy. Randeep, uh, I, can't help, I can't help but notice that you look like a mountain in this, man. And I mean it like a compliment. I mean, I look at Love Ajkal and then follow <laughs> that up with this. Uh, I know it's part of an actor's job, but for us on the outside, it's quite remarkable, the transformation. So. Uh, like I said, you look like a mountain, you're special ops. So uh, did you do anything in particular to, to, you know, to change your physical regime to get that body, man, for, for Saju? Apart from drinking a lot of beer, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, I think. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, it was... Uh, well, uh, I was in a beer, I was in a more of a Sardi, Sardar big shape for Saragadi. And I was following that when I got this part, and uh, that was uh, to, that was a good beginning. And then weeks of uh, action rehearsals, weeks of you know hours of of physical uh, activity and combat, and you know do it again, do it again, do, and, and just going through all those things, all that training, all, all that physicality does things to you, to your mindset, to your body. There is a certain, uh, you know, the way you start carrying yourself and uh, there is a certain belief that, you know, if I was going to punch somebody, it's going to hurt. That develops through, uh, you know, uh, all the all the practicing that you do. So that kind of gives you that. So that was a big part of the preparation. And then the makeup was a big part of this for me towards the latter half of the film. Uh, and. Uh, that was done by, by some fantastic people. Dan, who's doing my makeup through the film, and then Damien, uh, who's uh, who won an Oscar for uh, uh, Fury Road for makeup and prosthetic special effects. So they were there and they were doing it. And you know, after 
they do it and you feel like they are hair, you feel like a samurai. So it was all that mountain feeling was created by a lot of people which then inhabited uh, me as a person and as an actor. So it was something that was a creative operation of a team, not just me. Okay, guys, I've just been told I have to bounce. So uh, a few select members of the press have gotten to see Extraction. What a fantastic cinematic experience. Thank you for that. I can't wait for the world to see Thank it and, uh, and encourage what you guys have done. And uh, we made India proud. So Randeep, uh, Rudraksh, and Priyanshu, cheers. Thank you. I like that made India yes, proud. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you.